So as it always is, a big night for the Atama family. Moses in the ring, brother Carroll watching from ringside. He's still only 18 years of age. The man he's fighting tonight was already at senior school the day he was born, but don't let that fool you. As an amateur, he won super heavyweight gold at the World Youth Championships with destructive power, and he has his sights set on the very top of the profession. Would love to be the youngest ever world heavyweight champion. To do that, he's got to keep winning and winning well, and after a couple of distance victories in the last couple of fights he's back in there tonight and looking for a knockout against Amin Bousseta who was born in Morocco but these days he fights out of Belgium you can see Itama means business straight away Fletch here he's planting his feet and looking for big punches working the body also but there, that whipping right hook there it wasn't too far away a sort of honing on the target turn outside the line of vision of his opponent and then he whips it in it's a really difficult punch to detect and um, to, to defend against when it comes in at speed, the way he throws it. It's Hammer in the black trunks, trimmed with white, the mainly green trunks for Busetta. Destructive power in both hands, the teenager from Chatham. 4-0 and as a professional, fifth time we've seen him in the ring this year. Oh, oh left uppercut! Brilliant shot, through the guard, onto the chin, down went Busetta. And John Latham's got to decide whether he lets him continue or not. And I fear that if he does allow him to continue, he won't be in there for much longer. Great punch from Itauma, who's looking for the finish. Still 90 seconds in the round to go, and in goes the towel, down goes Busetta. And there is the destructive power of this exciting teenager who gets another stoppage. What a peach of a punch that first left uppercut was. Excellent delivery, the timing, the power, the speed, it was all there. And towards the end there, I mean, just went through the gears, didn't he? Just showed you how relaxed he was and went through the combinations at the end. The towel came in also. There's Carroll, his brother, who's really pleased with that one. And remember, Busset has only been stopped uh, once, Fletch, in the eight defeats that he's had. So it was a little bit of a step up, but... Oh, Moses a timer, didn't he? Didn't he just really show the show us the business there in terms of the punch power and the precision with the shot? Jab through, and then look at that for a left uppercut. So the jab actually sets up the shot, measures the distance and the gap, and then he whips the left uppercut with the power and speed. There's Carol Atama in the background there, just jumping to his feet. Now watch him go through the gears here. He seems very relaxed indeed. I mean, this is slow motion, but the speed he's going at, and Marcus McDonald just jumps in, the right thing to do. But also the towel comes in, you see. That left uppercut, right hook, another left hand came through. The speed here was really was um, very impressive indeed. And all these punches are getting through against the tough guy, Busetta. Only been stopped that once, remember, in the eight defeats. But just went through the gears. What a win that was. Our referee in charge, Marcus McDonald, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout. And still undefeated, Moses Itoma.